But the silver car up ahead, he's just sitting there. There's no reason for him to be there. No. Driving instructor David West is at the sharp end of antisocial behaviour on the roads every day. I asked him to show me some bad habits and it didn't take long. Vehicles were overtaking him and getting in the way of an ambulance that was coming along there, which in itself is causing problems and of course slowing the ambulance down, which could cost lives. Careless driving is a menace, say ministers. Soon it'll be much harder to get away with. At the moment, if you're going to be caught by the police uh, and they want to uh, course, uh, prosecute you for a, uh, a careless offence, they'd have to go to court. The ser most serious offences still can, but the police now can offer a, a fixed penalty notice. As part of the crackdown, drivers who hog the middle lane or drive too close to other cars will be punished with a £100 on-the-spot fine and three penalty points. Fines for jumping lights, speeding or using a mobile behind the wheel will increase from £60 to £100. Occasional offenders might be offered driver training courses as an alternative to gaining points. I find it really annoying actually when I'm driving on the motorway and you've got to pull right out into the fast lane past somebody and more and more people are doing it. I should be bankrupt, my wife does it all the time. <laughs> do you tell her not to do it? <laughs> yeah, and then I get told not to back seat drive. I don't know about a £100 fine but I do think it's a good idea just to enforce it a bit more. Our driving instructor David isn't alone in wondering whether traffic officers will be able to catch all the offenders. In reality, ministers admit police will pull over only the worst. But the new powers come in from July. The hope is they will at least make drivers think twice. Tessa Chapman, 5 News, on the M11.